I asked people in the Tony and Ryan Facebook group uh-huh. about Christmas Day disasters oh. because there's always a lot of build up and you're always a bit nervous. Have yeah. I got the food right? Have I got the right presents? Are we going to make it on time? Or, you know, there, it, there is a lot of build up. And it's the extended family or family friends that you don't see a lot. I haven't seen you since last Christmas. Yeah. i got to make small talk. So, How have you been? Yeah, Great. it's the small cool. talk but also the potential drama of like, oh, well, Auntie Christine said this to Auntie Jessica last year. Yeah. So, God, who knows if Heaven they're going to talk to each other. Put them at separate ends of the table Yeah, oh, year. they got each other for Secret Santa. We'll have to change it. Like, oh, <laughs> such what a, a nightmare. drama. What a nightmare. <laughs> Actually, let's call this Christmas Day drama. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, Alex Fiasco and well-named. Oh, yeah, I mean, you already know. So Alex Fiasco's brother. As if Fiasco is their last name. That's what their last name is. Is this real? Yeah. Okay. It's 100% real. Great. It's not like if if my fake name would be Schmalik (laughs) Schmiasco. No, it's real. Uh, His brother is a bit of a bit of the tantrum child. Oh. If I know the Fiascos. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's the brother. Yeah. So apparently the brother didn't get the present that he thought he was going to get oh. and had a little bit of a tantrum. Oh. And that tantrum ended in him pooing under the Christmas tree. <laughs> no, it did not. <laughs> Alex Fiasco's shitmas. brother had a merry shitmas under the tree and was like, you don't get a present? Well, I'll give you one of my own. What a little brat. Brat is the perfect word. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't say the word you were going to say. Yeah. You big C. Yeah. <laughs> merry Seamus. Will. <laughs> <laughs> Will Barry. Don't know, will he? Yeah. Um, me and s- Will Barry what? <laughs> <laughs> me and 17 members of my family. Too many. T- too big all, a family. Well, There's your problem. It's, save it because we all crammed into an old elevator together in the apartment building. You're asking for trouble. <laughs> and Will literally said, Guys, there's too many people in the elevator. Something could go wrong. Yeah. Is it his fault for bringing it up? Like, touch wood, did he jinx it? <laughs> they got stuck in the elevator on Christmas Day for four hours. 17 of them. How do you Imagine if you were in a lift for four hours because you need, need to, to pee, pee all constantly. The time. Yeah. But maybe was it the – did they have the bags that had the food in it? At least they could eat something? No, because – I oh, know. I mean, that doesn't make it better because if we're eating and drinking, then I just need to pee and poop more. And yeah, just, true, yeah. true, true, true. Oh, my God. So then Auntie Christine and Auntie Jenny, <laughs> they're going at it <laughs> in the <laughs> elevator. <laughs> A fiasco's brother's pooing in the corner. Oh, that would be, yeah, that is not, oh, 17 people. That's too many. I don't think I could even be stuck in a lift with one person. Well, you and I caught the lift up to the studio today. We did. Was that too many? No, that was fine. Okay. Yeah. We're throw, basically live as one. Mate. Yeah. Uh, Schmosh Modgers said... Oh, God, he needs to get a life. <laughs> yeah, he's quite what? Oh, no, good on it's you, Christmas. Smosh. It's Christmas. Yep. Smosh Modgers' grandma decided that Christmas lunch at the table was the right time and the right place to have the birds and the bees talk with the grandchildren. <laughs> oh. So Smosh and his brother, they're like 14 and 12, and Grandma's like, well, I think you boys are old enough. I've got to teach you a few things oh about the world. Oh, my God. And, and they're like stuffing their mouth with turkey, and they're like, I'm trying to stuff this turkey. I don't want to hear about you. And she picks up like the, the Iron Man and the Barbie that someone got for Christmas, <laughs> and he's like, see, basically, this oh, is no. what has to happen. Grandma, no! <laughs> <laughs> my, um, my sister came out on Christmas Day. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> It's really hectic. On, how, what, on how? Christmas Day. Were you like going around the like, Not, table and it's like, oh, tell us something that you discovered this year. It's yeah. like, well, I discovered the course. <laughs> what are you grateful for? I discovered um, girls. Yeah. Well, my mum and my sister were like getting a a, a, a cup of punch. Oh, from, how lovely. Of lo- so lovely. Um, and they obviously had like a little chat in there yeah. and then walked out and my mum goes, everybody, Hayley Bats for the other team. <laughs> Like, Mum, how embarrassing. But also you stole her story. Yeah, I know, as yeah, if she stole. didn't want to say something. Yeah. Was it? Um, so they're both holding these, like, comically small, like, glasses of punch <laughs> and we're all just like, that amazing, like, so happy for you kind of thing. And she's just like, thanks, everyone. Mum's like, all right, now we've got to clean up from the Christmas. She's just like, I couldn't, like, great, so glad you're who you are. But, like, we've got... 
We've got to get Christmas, Christmas underway. Yeah, like, who's making those potatoes? Yeah. <laughs> like, the meat's in the rotisserie. Like, there's well, a lot going on. Um, <laughs> Lara, and that's Car Crash Lara from Adelaide. Oh, Laura Bingle. Yep. Laura Bingle. Lara Bingle. Uh, one time at Christmas, my cousin bought a girl over for Christmas lunch. And, yeah. you know, we're like, oh, hey, you brought oh, a girl. Nice, yep. nice. That's You're obviously nice. pretty serious if you bring to Christmas. Yep. Yep. Uh, he then left in the afternoon and then brought a different girl back for dinner. <gasps> no. <laughs> what is what a stud. What an asshole. Oh, but, yeah, like, what? he goes and drops the other one off at the curb and then comes back. Like, and by that time, Grandma's had a few wines. So she goes, oh, Chelsea, that's a different dress than what you were wearing this morning. Did you and have she, blonde hair earlier really yeah. today, mate? And she goes, no, this is Stacey. This is a different girl. You Don't know, Grandma's going to, like, throw you under the bus by accident, I yeah, reckon. Yeah, but he's setting them up. Like, yeah. now I have to lie with you on Christmas? Yeah, I don't want to on Christmas. Jesus' Dang. birthday. Dang. Show yeah. some respect. Oh, God. <laughs> Caitlin, this is awful. And let this be a warning oh. to people around the country. One year I made a spice tea, like a communal, you know, a spice tea for everyone. And maybe not what an Australian fuck? thing, but some countries have a spice tea. Sure. Uh, I used a sugar substitute called Zytanol. Sure. Zytanol. If sure. you're on YouTube, I'll type it down there. If you Zyla listen to the Tol. podcast, just assume. Zing- Zingadong. Is it- Zingadong. Z- she put the Zingadong she put in. The Zingadong in. Yep. Turns out if you have a lot of it, it causes diarrhea. Yes. And so on Christmas evening, <sighs> we literally spent it fighting over the toilet to the point where my auntie needed to make a roster so we could all have a fair amount of time no. in the bathroom. It's like if you have too much gum, too much chewing gum makes you shit. Does it? Yes, because it's because it's like sugar free. Like they have the zing dong. The zing dong. Yeah, is that what we called it? Yeah, sure. The zinger dong, whatever. It's got the zinger dong in it. Oh, but poor. Uh, who drew the short straw? Poor auntie having to draw well, that up. But if She's everyone's like, fighting, okay, well Bob hasn't had a shit yet. We'll put him at the fair. He at hasn't the front. been in there for eighteen minutes. But I think they were literally fighting. Like, no, I need to go. No, I need to go. No, I'm still there and sure, I'm mid. Surely at that point you're shitting outside. Grab a towel, guys. No, bleh. but grab, like grab a sink, hit the not, laundry. Yeah, see, it's you're in bridesmaids' territory. Yeah. Like you're shitting in the sink, you're shitting in the street. And oh, finally, yeah. and this is the story that made me want to do this whole segment. Okay, Maddie Cox. I was getting my phone fixed, so I used my mum's phone for a few days. And one night, my Must boy, be nice. my <laughs> my phone's getting fixed. Nothing, no back. <laughs> yeah, my mum went to get my phone fixed and hasn't come back for thirty four years. <laughs> you didn't have a phone. <laughs> you were just a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> what we're trying to say, Maddie, is must be nice. Yeah, Maddie, getting my phone fixed. Maddie, this is not a relatable story. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> so this person that gave birth to you is like in your life. Yeah, explain that to me. Don't understand. It's getting my phone fixed, so I used my mum's for a few days. I was sending some spicy photos back and forth with my boyfriend. No, okay, nah. You're not doing that yeah. when you're borrowing someone else's phone. Maddie, I love you, but you're an idiot. You're asking, a beautiful idiot. A beautiful idiot. You're asking for trouble. No one knows how the cloud works. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Well, you know who agrees with you? <laughs> Maddie fucking Cox does. And probably her boyfriend whose does. dick everyone saw. <laughs> I deleted all the photos, or so I thought, and a few weeks later it was Christmas. And mum has this thing, and it's such a mum thing to do, apparently, um, <laughs> asterisk, yep. is that she's got her, like, um, almost like a... Uh, what am I trying to say I here? don't know. I literally don't know. All you're doing is moving your hand around. On the screen, there's, like, family photos rotating through. Oh, like a... Slideshow. Slide That's what I was trying to say. A slideshow. <laughs> She's got a, sl- and it's like in the background. So yeah. you know how you can turn your TV off. Yes, TV I know mode? what you're fucking talking about. Thank you. I'm glad it's taken me 48 years to explain what a fucking slideshow is. Yeah. And so it's all family photos, just yeah. like it's because we don't understand, mate. We don't understand. Yeah. It's thrown. The mum thing has just it's, rattled us. Yeah. Yeah. It's rattled me. Exactly. <laughs> so there's all these family photos that mum's obviously put into a folder that's like, oh, family day. Yeah. So in the background at Christmas, how nice. Oh, that's the time we were all off at the lake yeah. together. Oh, that's the time but of graduation. But it's just all the photos from the iCloud. She goes, I don't know how the iCloud works. I don't know how I put them in a folder. I thought they were deleted. But it was as we were eating Christmas dinner, there were big pictures of Maddie Cox's boyfriend's Cox just coming up on the screen and her. And she used a quote from a few weeks ago. All of her family have now seen all of her on Christmas Day at lunch. (laughs) 
I'm just thinking about how fucking mortifying that would be. <laughs> Imagine that you're all, oh, stuffing a turkey. Oh, stuffing Maddie. She's on the telly. Like, what? Like, what did? Like, I can't even deal with that. What is that life? Like, Please what does she don't do? compare stuffing turkey to someone stuffing Maddie. I think that that is grounds for adopting yourself out. <laughs> Ryan's got some tips. <laughs> he can talk to someone yeah. for you. Hey, he mom, knows a guy. You, why don't you go and get my phone fixed again <laughs> and this time don't come back for 35 years. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>